Hi, in this video I will show you how to sew a shawl collar onto a vest with a deep neckline in the front. Let's start with finishing the collar. The upper part of the collar needs to be pressed with interfacing on the wrong side of the fabric. I take the lower part of the collar and align the upper and lower collars with the right sides together. I pin the collar pieces together along the top edge, starting by aligning them at the center and then working outwards. I stitch along the top edge of the collar. Now, I trim the seam allowance to 0.5 cm to reduce bulk in that area. Then, I turn the collar right side out. Next, I proceed to edge basting the collar using diagonal hand stitches. It's important to note that edge basting should be done on the lower collar. Place the collar in front of you with the lower collar facing towards you and the upper collar on your work surface. During edge basting I use my fingers to create a fold of 0.1 cm to ensure that the seam connecting the collar pieces is hidden at the bottom and the seam is not visible on the upper collar. Additionally, it's important to edge basting the lower collar because it will slightly curve upwards at the ends. This means that when we flip the collar right side out, the ends will nicely lay downwards, inwards, rather than sticking up. Attaching the collar to the vest, I turn the vest inside out so that the back is facing towards me, and the front of the vest is on the work surface. I open up the vest to make it easier to attach the collar. First, I sew the lower collar to the back neckline of the vest. There is a notch at the center of the back neckline. Similarly, I mark a notch at the center of the collar by folding it in half. The notch length should be 0.5 cm. Then, I align the lower collar with the back neckline at the center and pin them together along the entire back neckline. It's important to note that we're only sewing the lower collar to the back neckline, not the upper collar.
I turn the vest to the wrong side and now it's time to stitch from shoulder to shoulder. The shoulder seams should be pressed open. I move the pins that connect the lower collar to the back neck to the wrong side of the vest for convenience when sewing on a sewing machine. And once again I repeat that you should sew the lower collar to the back neck from the shoulder point to the shoulder point. I sew from one shoulder seam to the other, making sure to backstitch at the beginning and end. While stitching the seam, I check to make sure the upper collar doesn't get caught in the seam. And so you can see that the seam is laid from shoulder seam to shoulder seam along the back neckline. Now, I align the upper and lower collars together and pin them to the front neckline of the vest. Please note that we're not touching the collar along the back neckline at this stage. I turn the vest out again to the wrong side as this will allow me to see where the shoulder seam starts and from there start sewing the upper and lower collar to the front of the vest. Starting from the shoulder seam, I sew the upper and lower collars that we just attached to the front neckline of the vest, stitching all the way down to the end of the collar on both sides. I start stitching from the shoulder seam backstitch at the beginning, and sew all the way down to the bottom of the collar. Thank you. 
Now, when I flip the vest right side out, you can see that the stitching attaching the collar starts exactly from the shoulder seam. To hide the seam allowances along the back neckline, we need to make notches. I take the vest which is turned right side out, and make notches. This is the same place where the shoulder seam is located. I make notches 0.9 cm long, making sure not to cut through the seam. Be careful and precise, and ensure that your scissors are sharp. I make similar notches on the other side. These notches are necessary to tuck the seam allowances along the back neckline of the vest inside. And thanks to these notches you can see that the seam allowances can now be hidden inside the collar. I also make two notches along the back neckline, leaving a 0.1 cm gap from the seam, to prevent the collar from being pulled and to avoid any folds on the collar. I also deepen the notch in the center. When making the notches, be careful not to rush to avoid accidentally cutting the seam. Before closing the collar along the back neckline, I attach facings to the front of the vest. I place the facings with the right side down and the wrong side up on the front of the vest. I pin them in place and stitch them. The upper ends of the facing end at the shoulder seam line. Before turning the facings to the right side, I trim the seam allowances into triangular or square shapes at the corners where there are angles. The most important thing is not to damage the stitching.
Since there are four layers of fabric along the front neckline of the vest, I trim the collar seam allowance that I fold down the seam allowance on the side of the facing and on the side of the vest as these seam allowances remain that IT is necessary to cut only the seam allowances that are between. That is the seam allowances from the collar that I cut leaving 0.2 cm allowance. This way we will not have a thickening in this place. Now, I proceed to finish the collar along the back neckline. I turn the seam allowances towards the inside of the collar and secure them with additional pins.
Then, I use small hand stitches to connect the upper collar to the back neckline. Lastly, I secure the facing around the shoulder area to ensure it stays in place and doesn't come out of the vest. The final step is to finishing seams along the edge of the collar and the edges of the front panels of the vest. I recommend stitching 0.1 cm from the edge first, and then stitching again 0.5 cm from the edge. And that's it, the process of sewing the shawl collar onto the vest is complete. See you in the next video, bye.